Good morning, YouTube. I'm going to test out these Amway goggles. And if you didn't see my community post, I got some Amway goggles V1S from a buddy of mine across the pond over, over in Jolly O England. Anyways, um, I'm going to try these out. The goal with these, I think, for me, is going to be um, one of two things. Either using them as a, just like an extra set of goggles when people come around. That's one possibility. But my real goal, I think, is these have an HDMI input, which my Attitude V3s don't. So they've got HDMI input, which means I can put HD0 on here and I can get digital possibly. And HD0 is probably the route that I was going to go um, with digital anyways, just from everything that I've looked at. It kind of fits with what I want. Um, so that's kind of my end goal, I think, with these is to do HD0, and we'll see how that plays out. But the first test with these is just to see how well they work visually for me. The fit seems a little odd. I've got this top strap on here. I'm not a big fan of it, but it does allow these to sit on my eyes in a way that it's not screwing up the image. So I may end up getting a different strap for them. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, I kind of want to test them just to see how well they work. and. Uh, take you guys for a ride along for my first flight. This will be my first flight with them. I haven't flown in a few days either, so should be good. I've got my other goggles with me too that I may or may not do a test with today. I probably won't because it's Sunday morning. I got other stuff to get to do this morning before church. So I'm just going to fly a pack or two and just see how well these work. I've got, uh, this will be kind of back to my old way where I've got a diversity instead of rapid fire. So that'll be interesting to see if that makes a difference here. Probably not too much of a difference here, but I do want to kind of test that in some other areas just to be testing because it's been a long time since I've, I've switched from rapid fire to the other. And my buddy Dave, whenever I did it, he convinced me to do it. He's like, now you need to go back and do the other one so you can just see how much better it actually is. And so I guess this will kind of be a way of doing that because I've been flying the other for so long and I know exactly what to expect with it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna plug up here and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. Tap it to record. Yep, we're recording. All right. And I got this guy here. Let me do my little clap sync, hopefully. Hopefully I can get that all synced up and I'll give you DVR from this thing and HD from this thing. We'll see how that goes. Flying janky props here. These are Vanover props. I've been testing these. Same set I've had on for a while. They're doing pretty well, durability wise. Can't complain. Um, Light wise, not too bad either. I'm so used to having my lanyard on because that was what powered my other uh, thing. I might need to, I guess I'm gonna have to take this. So I'll take these goggles off for just a second. Put this guy on. I thought about doing the DVR from my power play but for this test, I don't want to do that. But I might do that in, in the future. Uh, right way. So, all right. Now I got patch on here, Omni on here. So I have the patch on anyways, there, okay. So I should be able to go all the way down through there. All right, let's do this. Truth goes, he's arming. To uh, get these guys to see on my face just right there. We go. All right, I'm not flown with a 16.9 view. It just basically looks like my 4.3, but it's um, kind of stretch. Yep, that's weird. Kind of looks like my GoPro footage. Not in quality, but in, you know, the... I'm so used to 4.3, I might have to switch that back. I might be flying closer to stuff, though. I don't know. Video gets a little... 
Not too bad, actually. Oops, upside down. Hope I didn't hit them off there. Oh, I heard something. The 16.9 view is a little weird. I don't think it's cutting anything off because I can. I can still see all the stuff that I saw before. But. It looks weird. Oh, I got a loose drop. Right. Let me land here. Okay, I got this prop up. So let me see which prop is uh, loose here real quick. All right, first thoughts on it while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, it looks good on it. Not bad quality, looks okay. Um, the 16.9 field of view feels a little weird to me. Um, I might swap that here for the second half of this. I think I will. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. My GoPro not recording. I think my battery and my GoPro might be dead. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll just give you all the DVR then. It'll be fine. Alright, I think I'm gonna swap this to the 4-3 view here. Hang on, let me see. I think it's this one. There we go. Oh yeah, that feels a little better. Alright, we'll see how that we'll see how that feels when I'm flying it. Um we'll find out. See if I can. It feels any more normal. It used to sit on my face right there. Yeah, that feels better. That actually feels a lot better. Twenty seconds. Yeah, way better. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the. The 16.9. Somebody had asked me in the comments on that that I should try the 16.9. Yeah, not a fan of the. I'm not a fan of the 16.9 with that. Now that'll be an interesting switch for me for. Um, that'll be an interesting switch, I think, when I do HD because I think it does. I don't think it does 4.3, I think it does 16.9 view. So that'll be an interesting switch. Ah, that is dead. Land here. All right. So, thoughts. I like the 4.3 better than the 16.9 for sure. Goggles feel pretty good. Visually looks pretty pretty good. The first thing I noticed when uh, I got these goggles and I was just kind of holding them in my hand was how much lighter they are than my others. Um, some of that is antennas, but not much. Most of that is they're just lighter. I need to do a weight comparison. I might do that and I'll do that. I'll, I'll weigh them with the antennas how I normally use them and sit them on the scale and I'll put the weight here and you can see what the difference in the weight is. It feels a lot, feels way lighter. Now, whether it is or not, I don't know. You'll see that down here. Um, anyways, I like, uh, I think I like them. They feel pretty good. Uh, reception feels pretty good. Let me do a little test of that with doing this. I didn't really see too much of a difference from my rapid fire, although I did see a little bit, but Rapid fire does some weird stuff with the, um, sometimes when it goes to put the image together from the multiple feed, sometimes it does some weird stuff and it'll do this weird jumping and I don't, I don't know what it's called, but anyways, anybody that's used rapid fire knows what I'm talking about. Um, and that's really distracting. That was probably, that's the one thing that I don't like about rapid fire and no matter what I've tried 
no matter which way I've went about it, no matter which firmware, no matter which settings, you still have it. You can lessen it, but it's still there. Sorry, Immersion RC, but it is. Um, and it's really distracting because it always happens at the worst possible time. I've gotten used to that. So, you know, I, I, I've been able to kind of fly around it, but man, it makes you antsy when it happens. Um, Mortal warning. All right. So we're still recording here, still recording on the DVR, I think. Make sure. Yeah, still recording on DVR. All right. So I'm going to fly another one here, this time all 4 3. And uh, we'll just kind of play around. I'm going to test, I'll test my my range back that way so that should be should be good the patch is pointing that way and this patch is pretty good it's not my best one but it's a pretty good one Let's see how we do down this way going around because my other patches i've used out this way um i'm used to yeah it's actually really good not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah. Working good. Not bad at all. I like these goggles. Image is really good. For for analog, really good image. And I've been flying my other ones for a while, so I can say that with confidence. I said the only thing that's weird about these goggles versus my other ones is the fit. Um, I think it's just the strap is a little worn out. I need a new strap. I think that'll... I think that'll solve most of the issues. 20 seconds. Yeah, I can see really good with these. I like it. I think the field of view in these is about the same as the field of view in the uh, my attitude, so that don't really feel any different to me. Feels good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time to one a lap. How was that for a gap? Ha <laughs> ha, knife edge. Uh, I haven't done that knife edge in a while. Oh, and I hit that one. <laughs> oh. Oh well. All right, uh, let me turn this to get a little better. The lighting is awful this morning. The lighting is great for video for like really pretty it's terrible for getting it just right to keep from being in the shadows where it's low in the sky anyways so thoughts on these i like them oh i guess i should stop the dvr let's see here how to do that uh let me find the little button here this one there we go all right good deal all right so i should have the dvr i hope i do We'll see how that goes, how that turned out. Anyways, I like them. Um, yeah, pretty good. They're comfortable. They feel good. I can see really good. I think it's a little bit crisper than my Fat Sharks. I think the image just, I think it's got a little, it's got a little higher resolution screens than the, these old V3s. I mean, they're old. Um, they've been tried and true and good goggles. Nothing against them. Um, so, 
But yeah, I kind of like I'm gonna fly with these for a while, and I kind of actually didn't mind the the way the the diversity worked there. That was actually pretty decent. Um, so that was that was good. Um, I'm sure in the right circumstance, the rapid fire definitely will be better. I, well, I know for a fact that it's it's better than what I used to use, which was with LaForge with the diversity module, and I had a antenna on one side and antenna on the other side and did that way for a while. And I know that it's better than that um, in, in like just general penetration and stuff. But I think for most of my freestyle, I think this actually may work out okay. And then, like I said, if I go to HD with it, then, you know, that's a completely different receiver, so it doesn't matter. Um, that becomes down to the screen and the comfort of how they feel and stuff, and so, that feels pretty good actually. So I'm gonna fly them for a while and that's what I usually do with something. I'll, I'll give it a fair test. I won't just do one and done and be like, yes, I'm set on that. Um, I give it a fair test before I, you know, commit to something. But overall, feels pretty good. Like I said, you know, they feel, they feel really good on my face. They're super lightweight. That's probably my biggest thing I like better than anything is they feel so much better. They're so much lighter. So kudos, Mr. Yates. That's my buddy over there. I like him, buddy. I like him. I like 4.3, though. I'm not a fan of 16.9. At least, at least not with a 4.3 camera. Now, with a 16.9 camera, that may change. It's just a weird... It was a weird... It, I don't know, it's weird because it's got so much... I like that narrow... I like that narrow view. Um, helps me focus. I don't get distracted. Um, I think it wasn't that it was wide so much as it was that it was stretched and it made everything look, you know, compressed this way, even though it really wasn't. It was the same height, it's just where it stretched it and made it look like it was compressed. You know how GoPro footage kind of has that weird look sometimes? And the, uh, you know, you got that weird stretching. Um, it just looks, I don't know, it just looks weird sometimes. I mean, it looks, it looks cool to watch because it makes everything you know, kind of flow nice and look a lot quicker and stuff. But for the flying, I like the 4.3. I like that narrow view. I don't like that stretched view. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm digging it. So you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed my little first foray here into using these Amways. And like I said, this is not new, not a review. This is just new to me. Never had these. I like them though. I like these a lot. Once I get them sitting on my face just right. I gotta get that adjusted there. There's That's what I gotta figure out there. There we go. That feels pretty good. That's the only weird thing is just getting it adjusted just right to sit on my face just right. I think that that will help if I get a new strap because they want to kind of tend to like slide around. They're comfortable though. The foam is uber comfortable. Um, Anybody know where you can get more of the foam? Like if this wears out, cause I know it will eventually. Um, I know the ones for my bash marks don't fit it. Well, they they can go on there, but it doesn't fit right. It feels weird or something. The shape of it's different or something. It doesn't, doesn't sit. It hurts when it's on your face with that cause the foam's not a stick. But yeah. All right, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.